What if you actually could change your own brain? Think about the things your brain controls in your life, how you think and learn and remember, how you plan and organize and understand things, how you pay attention and solve problems, your motivation. Sure, all of those. But your brain also handles your emotions, how you feel and express and control them. Your brain is the center of your moods, how positive or negative they are, how stable or changeable. All of that, yes. What about your ability to perform under pressure, to deal with stress, how you control and coordinate physical movements? Those are driven by your brain as well. And you may not even think of things like sleep, digestion, breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure, your ability to maintain your body, to mobilize it against disease, and to respond to emergencies. But all of that and more is actually driven by that little three-pound organ sitting at the top of your spine. Your brain produces its own energy, makes its own chemicals, builds and maintains incredibly complex communication networks, some as old as before you were born, some as new as 10 seconds ago, all working together. It even repairs damage to itself. But like you, it's a creature of habit. When it learns a way of dealing with challenges, it remembers and keeps using that approach, even when it stops working so well, just like you. If you could change your brain's energy habits, release the old patterns, and form new ones, you could literally change almost any part of yourself. And because your brain operates with its own habits, which underlie your daily habits of thought, mood, and performance, once you were able to change them, the new habits would be as stable and consistent and effortless as the old ones. You could literally change what just happens in your life in lasting ways. And this is not just a pipe dream. Tens of thousands of people have already done it over more than a quarter century all over the world. Hundreds of books and articles have demonstrated its effectiveness. So how do you train your brain? Same as any other part of your body. Your body may not produce energy very well, or it may be stiff and out of balance, or it may be weak. But you don't consider those diseases. You know you can change them yourself. Practice aerobic exercise a few times a week and improve your ability to produce energy. Spend a couple hours a week doing yoga or Pilates and you become more flexible and balanced. Lift weights and in time you'll get stronger. In other words, you change body energy habits by doing the right exercise. But how do you exercise your brain? 